Now, still, Loris Baz, if he's if he's on it, can uh, can chase that gap down just a little bit before Mike gets up to speed. Here's uh, what happened at the start. Well, we all got away, and it was Yacht Yamaha in pole position, but they didn't stay in the lead for the first corner. The SRC Kawasaki got out there, first of all, but Greg Black got a great start out in the lead and started to pull away, but behind him, people were sorting themselves out in these mixed conditions, and it was the number 77 of Gino Rea who was really starting to show his mettle in these uh, terrible conditions, and then... Well, we've had been having rain from the start of the race and the first of the fallers went down and that's on the overbanding at the uh, bottom of the main uh, the uh, uh, the pit lane straight and the rain just started to get heavier and heavier and more people were going down. Safety car came out. In fact, the safety car came out twice and the rain just got heavier and heavier and heavier until we had a red flag when the race was uh, stop, not stops, they haven't stopped the race. What they did was they put the race on hold and we had lots of decisions overnight as to uh, at what time we were going to start it. They eventually started at six o'clock uh, here in, uh, in France, that would be five o'clock in the UK. And immediately, uh, it was wet, but we were starting to dry and you saw a lot of changes. This was quite recently the number 74 being one of the crashes at Senior Motorsport Racing. And uh, the FCC TSR Honda out in front and pulling away and making a decent break in the mixed conditions, but the rain had held off. And so far the track is dry, drying out very well indeed. Uh, changes at the moment, not too many in the past half hour, but the battle has really started to open up at the front. Mike Nemelio now out on the bike as Freddie Foray has come in. That gap was one minute and about 23 seconds. The gap between first and second now, Mike Nemelio on the FCC TSR bike, and Loris Baz on the number seven yard bike. That gap is down to 5.2 seconds. Loris Baz, last lap, two dead Mike Nemedlio on a sort of you know, tentative yep. lap, 206. And you can see the FCC team standing there, all pensive, you know, arms crossed, uh, not very happy by the look of it. Uh, Mike Nemedlio do, doing his best job as he possibly can. I mean, he's not fully up to speed yet because, remember, this is only his second lap, but Loris Baz, as you said, Clive, two minutes flat, two minutes point three, five seconds behind. He'll be able to see Mike Demelio very shortly, uh, especially on the Mistral strike, and he can. You can just see there there. he is. Uh, Loris Baz is hunting down Mike Demelio on the FCC Honda. I can't see Mike Demelio let him get away that much, hopefully. Well, that's we'll what, that's going to be the plan. Well, Mike Demelio will have to go four seconds per lap faster to keep up with Loris Baz. Loris <laughs> Baz pushing really, really hard. Last lap round again. Let's have a look at their lap times going across the start finish line. At um, literally a two minutes flat. No, 159, 159 for Loris Baz and 203.5 for Mike Demelio. Now, Mike Demelio will know that Loris Baz is catching him on his ball. He just had a look across the, to his ball on the pit lane, realising that Loris Baz is catching him hand over fist. Look at that. You can see Loris catching him so quickly. Now, what's Mike Demelio going to do? Is he going to make a decision whether to uh, try and hold on to the back of Loris Baz? Of course he is going to try to do that. But but look at Loris running outside now. Can he uh, oh, get up his switch back? He nice doesn't quite move. do it. I've seen Mike Demelio just hanging back well, there. Well, he's up the inside, the... pushes Mike Demelio offline. Wow. Good stuff. Now, Mike Demelio now has got a hook on the back of Loris Baz. He'll get a toe off him onto the back straight on the Mistral straight. Tucks right in there. You can see Loris Baz is a big lad, so he should be able to get a nice bit of slipstream off him. Mike Demelio, last lap, uh, dropped his lap time by three seconds, but he's got to do that by another three seconds for this lap to stay with Loris Baz. It looks like he can stay with him on the straight. Here's the replay going up just before on the right-hand corner before the, um, uh, the, the Mistral straight. Just lines him up. You can see Loris Baz squaring him up there. Gets on the gas a little bit early. Mike Demelio goes out a little bit wide. Loris Baz sees his chance and just sits Mike Demelio up, pushes his way through. Thank you very much, mate. I'm off. So, Loris Baz on the case. Mike's having a look at him. Now, this is the replay. Let's see where they are when we come back to live. That's focus for you. Look at Loris. And he's opened that gap as well. 